What's up guys, Video Box here, and this is my hopefully short recap of YCS Anaheim. I'm just going to go over some of the stuff that I got first and then talk about a few things that went on with me um, at the event. So I'll start off with this um, Judge bag, or Judge Canvas bag, which is pretty much what they give you to put all the stuff that, to put the other stuff they give you in. It's a pretty neat bag. It has a zipper, but, and everything. And then there's this 2014 Judge um, Vampire mat. And then I also got this YCS token, the pink one. And then a regional um, deck box for not having to win the regional. <laughs> and then underneath this mat is the Rio mat. I believe this is the current winner mat, so it looks really nice. And then I'll move this off carefully because I have other stuff underneath it. Okay, so what I have here is obviously the Virgil mat, and then my pulls from the packs that I got. I didn't want to do a pack opening because it took because it takes up way too much time. I'll just move over the camera to see what I got here. Um, all this stuff is for a trader sale if you guys are interested in anything you see here. And okay, now pretty much on to the event. So for the most for the first day or most of the first day, I was put into the VIP section um, for YCS Anaheim. For those of you who don't know, um, before the actual event, OTS stores held um, what you call I think a VIP like qualifier. And for those of and for people that won the qualifier, they pretty much got a VIP treatment at the event. Um, the entire section was located. Um, in the upper right corner or to the left of the main stage and it was bordered off by um like red tape or like a red barrier i was pretty much in that section for most of day one and then the beginning of day two now the importance of that is um for those players that had the vip treatment they had two round they had a two round buy and they they didn't have to pay for entry to the event because they won their right to be there and they all stayed in the same seating throughout the Swiss rounds. Now, for those of you um, who believe that the two by two the two rounds that the two rounds that they don't have to play hurt them, keep in mind that Barrett Keys, the guy who won second place at the tournament, was a VIP player. So, if you know how to play the game, it doesn't actually hurt you. But anyways, on to day two. Um, I was pretty much put into the top um 32 cut area um i pretty much stayed there pretty much until the end um i did not um judge or was not near the final match as i was the last match i saw was the um the duel between third and fourth place so <clears throat> that was pretty much what i did um, mainly for the two days uh, one of the weird moments that I encountered during the tournament was between I believe the top 16 or top 8 for those of you who don't know um, for all the participants that are still remaining in the tournament in the top um, 32 you're actually not the players are not permitted to leave um, that barriered area unless escorted out by a judge like if they had to use the bathroom buy food or you know, make a quick phone call to someone they to like their family or something. A judge has to escort them that player out, and their stuff has to be left in that area because no one else is allowed in except judges and um, anyone that's still active in the tournament. But anyways, um, the importance of that was at one instance, um, the YCS champion Patrick Hoban had to go to the bathroom, so I was the judge that had to escort them at that time. The weird part was, as he was finishing up, washing his hands and whatnot, two players literally walked in to the bathroom and proceeded to go up to him. One player said, I know this is weird, but... And he proceeds to hand him a folder with a Sharpie on top. So he's basically asking where his autograph. I'm thinking you could have picked any other time, any other time, to ask him for an autograph, but you chose to do it in the bathroom, which is beyond me. I mean, he had a weird, Patrick had a weird look on his face too. I mean, 
he like the cool thing is he still did the autograph in the bathroom for the two players, which ended up being um, a set of upstart goblins each. And then around that time, another judge was escorting Barrett Keys into the to the restroom, and he saw the entire thing. And me and the other judge were just looking at each other, thinking, "Yeah, that's normal." But yeah, that was a really awkward moment for all of us. But <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. But um, overall, I had fun throughout the weekend. Um, <clears throat> it was something that. Yeah, I guess I'm getting used to judging YCSS. My feet didn't hurt, which was pretty cool. And, um, not sure if I, I'm pretty sure I covered almost everything. But, um, yeah, the next event in SoCal will be a Y, or not a YCS, I'm a regional, I believe, the, the, sem the Saturday before Christmas. So I'll be judging that event as well. And until next time, this is Video Box, and I'll catch you guys later.